Hi. I'm, I'm Mike. I'm Hi. April. I'm Batia. Hi, April. Mm-hmm. Hi. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, yeah. The prequel party, yeah? Yeah, it's a great party. Yeah, I like your dress. It looks cool. Thank you. <laughs> um, so. Yeah. Uh, what do you do? Um, I'm. I work for um, an insurance broker. Oh, right cool. <laughs> State Farm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. Like a good neighbor, or be there. Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah. You know, I like you a lot. Like, do you want to go out sometime? Um, I mean, you seem really nice. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah. yeah I, I just, I'm kind of not looking for anything right now. I'm just kind of oh. not the right time right now. But yeah. Um, yeah. it was really nice meeting you. Yeah. It's yeah. Nice meeting you, April. Great party. Have, have fun. Bye. Hi. What did you think of Mike's approach? Well, he seemed like a nice enough fella. Um, I just think that it was, I don't know. It, he just kind of went straight into the hiking thing before, you know, as we had a chance to get to know each other a little better. It was just a little, like, a little awkward. <laughs> Why did you decide not to give him your phone number? You know, um, I... I I like a man who's really confident and um, you know it might sound superficial but um, I just didn't see the confidence there and uh, it's I know what I I know what I like and don't like so you know I'm just not gonna waste his time you know. Hi right, guys, come closer. So first step again is the warm up. Okay, so whenever you get there, start socializing with people, make connection, okay? Don't even like think about talking to women first. The thing you gotta do is really like get connected with other guys, okay? I want you guys like to go, to put yourself out there and connect with other dudes. Hey man, what's up? What are you doing? What brought you guys over here, okay? So come up with some good energy, okay? I want you guys to picture yourself as a party. You are a party and you want people to want to join your party. So I want to see energy. I want to see positive, a positive mindset, okay? So what you're doing when you're warming up is that you're building your confidence for the whole night. So first step is attraction. How do you attract? Eye contact, again, smile. Then you open. Hey, what's up? What are you doing? Again, energy, positive mindset. What brought you over here tonight? Yeah, what do you think about this? This is pretty, right? Basically, once you've opened and you've created attraction, you want to get into the second step, which is seduction. Cindy. Nice to meet you, Cindy. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Uh, so do you know the hosts at this party? Yeah, I, I actually do. Oh, so you know Vanessa? Yeah. Oh, how I do you know her? Uh, well, I took one of her seminars. Oh, really? Which yeah. seminar did you take? It was uh, IT marketing strategies oh. for startups. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So you do IT marketing? Uh, yeah. Well, I'm in that industry. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. How long have you been doing it? Uh, this is my first year. First year. So oh. getting in there, yeah, with everybody else, all the startups and everything. That's like exciting. That. And yeah. how do you like it so far? I like it. I like it. I love the growth of this industry in this area and everything. So it's cool. Great. What yeah. What attracted you to it? Well, um, I just wanted a fresh fresh start out of school and everything. Wanted to get in there and just start working. So. Nice. Did you yeah. Did you also go to Berkeley with Vanessa? No, I didn't. No. Oh, yeah. all right. That's actually how I know her. Oh, okay. Yeah, we actually um, we took this art class together. Oh my god, that's so amazing! Yeah, I love her art. I I was just looking at that one over there and. Oh yeah, that's a fantastic piece. She's um, so amazing. Kind of looks like a mene, actually. Kind of resembles it. I don't yeah. know if you're familiar with it. Mm, well, I mean, everybody knows Monet. Right? I, I guess you're right. I yeah. Into it, but I mean, yeah, you know, I I was thinking about like the whole uh, at the De Young Museum. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, Have you been? Have you seen well, their exhibit? I think they're actually showing. I think they're showing him is right it now. Still going on? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, yeah, I was actually really excited to go. Um, 
I don't know if you're interested in, in his work at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah? Okay, yeah. well, perhaps I can take you there, and we can check it out together. Um, okay. All right. Yeah. Sounds great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let me get your number, then. Okay. How did you feel about Mike's approach? Well, I felt like Mike was really approachable. He really felt kind of calm, not over the top, or not, you know, too shy coming up to me. He just kind of had some confidence to him, so I, I felt kind of at ease talking with him. What led yeah. you to give me your phone number? Well, uh, it seemed like we had some things in common. I, I don't normally give out my phone number to everyone, so um, it, it felt like you know, he knows some people that I know, and he uh, really kind of seems like maybe we could have a match. How do you seduce? Be unpredictable. Tease her, okay? The way you gotta see it is like it's a verbal pillow fight. That's the, <laughs> that's the way I see it. Yeah. It, may, it, it might make you laugh, but uh, it's, that's the way I see it, you know, like, you guys gotta, like, tease each other, you know, and that's the way you're gonna create connection with her. Start conversation with her, like, tease her, like, put on the spot a little bit, make sure, like, she, she contributes to the conversation, okay? You're leading the conversation at the beginning, okay? But make sure at some point she contributes as well, okay? That's the way you should see it. Like at the beginning, you're like bringing like 90% of the like, like income in the conversation, you know? But after that, it, sh- it should be equal, okay? Yeah. What do you do when the conversation's going south? Yeah. <laughs> this happens to be my Basically, problem. Basically <laughs> like at some point, yeah. At some point the conversation might slow down. So what you want to do is uh, like relaunch the conversation by asking a question like, Tell me something exciting about you, okay? What makes you like different? Tease her a little bit, you know, like this. You want to, re- you really want to show her that like you're actually someone. Like you've never heard a girl like saying saying that, oh, I didn't, I didn't sit with this guy because he didn't agree with my point of view. You hear, you hear a girl saying like, I didn't sit with this guy because he was boring. There's, there was no connection. There was no chemistry with this guy. So you ladies having a good time? Yeah, we are. You said your name was Daisy? No, Gabriella. Yep. I could have sworn. I'm sorry. I'm I'm Nick. How's it going? Hi, Nick. Nice to meet you. What are you guys talking about? Um, her emerald. Oh, huh, it's a nice emerald. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. I like your watch too. It's a very pretty watch. Oh, thank you. Where'd you get it? Um, it was a gift. Oh, cool. You know, I I actually sell watches. So, are you selling me something, or are you trying to get to know me? I was. I mean, I was trying to get to know you, but I mean, if you're, I mean, you're. Do you want, do you want any watch? I'm all. I'm a salesman. I will always be open I, for I'm business. I'm sorry. Um, we're just having a good time. I'm here with. I, and I'm trying to talk to you, and I was complimenting your watch, and then, then you Thank know. Thank you. Things kind of well, evolved nice from you. there. Mm-hmm. So, what are you guys? What are you? What are you talking about? Well, we're just having a girl conversation here. A girl conversation. Mm-hmm. Just. What does that entail? I'm sorry. This is. Uh, what was your name again? Nick. Nick. Um, we would like some privacy. It was nice meeting you. Okay, what did you think of Nick's approach? Well, Nick came off really aggressive, um, kind of like a jerk, passive aggressive. What particularly stood out as especially wrong for you? Um, I don't know. It just seemed, I don't know, not natural when he, um, was just, overly pushy overly aggressive and he when he noticed that I didn't want to continue the conversation he just kept going and going so then in turn I became a little frustrated and agitated just so he didn't know the boundaries I think that's what stood out to me you won't have time to get into a deep debate tonight but make sure you show her like you're someone you have personality, you have point of views, okay? Mm-hmm. Again, guys, like, once you get in, I want you, like, I want you guys to feel that you kind of, like, own the place, so this is your place, so you gotta, like, start, you're gonna start with connecting with pe- other people, other guys, make sure you touch people, like, you engage people in conversation, you make eye contact, you look confident, confident body language, how okay? Do you, how do you overcome shyness? I have challenge, you know, <laughs> get a little gun shy, 
Yeah, sure. You get a little nervous, the palms start sweating. Yeah, sure. So basically what you do, you're going to do is really go like through that uh, warm-up process. Yeah, so really like warm-up and uh, build that confidence I was talking about uh, by talking to other guys and like warm-up this social muscle you have. And once you get this, you'll be able like to go and talk to like girls you feel attracted to. Okay. What if the girl doesn't look at you? Like, should you still go up to her? Yeah, just go up to her and try to uh, join that conversation she's having in her mind at the moment. She's staring at the thing. She's, uh, I don't know, texting and like, just give her a try. What if she doesn't want to talk to you at all? Do you still tease her? You, uh, if she doesn't want to talk, man, like, give it a try. But I mean, like, there's plenty of fishes in the sea, you know, like, so like, just move on. I'd rather, like, the way I see it is that I'd rather, like, go put myself out there and give it a try. And like maybe like getting like put down by this girl than like not try anything. And that's the way you should think. That's her on the bars. <laughs> but she does her gymnastics. Aww. How's it going? I'm, I'm Nick. Hi, I'm Amy. How are you doing, Amy? Are you having fun at this party? I am. Yeah, it's it's nice. Time. How yeah. about yourself? So I didn't mean to. Do you want something to try? Do you mind if I join you? I'll get you. I'll get you. Sure. Alright, sorry. I, did, I feel like I just kicked your friends out. I didn't mean to do that. I, just saw, I, saw, I saw you from over there. I thought I would come up and say hi. You know, so maybe talk to you for a minute. Well, that's nice because my friends are thirsty. So, what do you do, Amy? I am an event planner. Event planning, mm -hmm. nice. What's the what's the what's the best and worst event you've ever planned? Uh, good question. Well, I am in wedding planning. Oh, oh this is going to be good. <laughs> oh, um, I can't wait. So best and worst might actually come together. Okay. Um, best was when everything went off pretty much without a hitch, except during the ceremony. Uh, the poor the bride, bride ran away. No, she actually tripped down the aisle. Ooh. Uh, so yeah, that didn't make That's for a awkward. very good scene. Mm -mm. Yeah, did she like get up and then like you know finish the ceremony, or did like? She... Yeah, there were a couple of tears shed along the way, but after that. For her she... falling or for her getting married? <laughs> for her falling. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah, that would that'd be pretty terrible. I mean, I was at a wedding once where the bride during her first dance. They were big swing dancers, right? You know, big into the whole flashing movements things. They were, they were looking great until yeah. their first spin, and the groom let go, and the bride went into the Get cake, out of like here. just fell face what? first into the cake. But what brings you here to this little um, patio party? Yeah, my former college roommate Jenna is the host. Yeah, as you know, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I met her um, actually uh, through a buddy of mine. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. She, okay. um, I guess, through her job, knew him. I don't. The connection is really confusing to me. I just. I just showed up. Okay, cool. Yeah, well, we go way back, and she hosts this party every year. And oh, cool. I always look forward to it and get out in the sun and see some weather. old good I mean, friends. You cannot complain about this weather, right? Mm -mm, absolutely not. Nope, so how how long have you been in the area? I've been here for about five years now. Oh, cool. Yeah, how about you? Yeah, you um, no, I just moved here recently, actually. Okay. Yeah, I, um, I'm, in, I'm in software, and I came out for work, which mm -hmm. kind of a good place to work. Yeah. And um, just trying to get to get to know some people, meet some people, you know. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. Nice. It's been fun. Yeah, awesome. Any 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 tips? Any like go-to places? Yeah, God, uh, my favorite places: um, Mount Tam okay. in the area, hiking. Mm -hmm. um, I love just a number of the beaches. Um, I do a little bit of surfing, so that's kind of fun. Nice. Uh, yeah. What about restaurants? Uh, restaurants. Um, Mama Citas. Have you been there? I haven't. Awesome Mexican. Really fun vibe. Uh, Are you? Doing anything this Friday? Do you want to go? Uh, I don't think I am doing anything this Friday. Yeah. All right. Sure. Well, can I get your number and I can call you? We'll figure it out. Sure. Uh, I think good. your friends are back with their drinks, so uh, I will um, give them their seats and okay. I will talk to you soon. All right. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. All right. What did you think of Nick's approach? I liked it. Uh, he just seemed to immediately have a good sense of humor. He almost pretty much made me laugh right away. Uh, and he just seemed to be very disarming. He didn't seem to be as, I guess, cocky as some of the other guys I would typically meet. Yeah, I think maybe he was just um, a little self-deprecating and um, I don't know, I think it's just the sense of humor is what really stood out to me the most. I think he's the kind of guy I might have a good time with. Just seems to be a fun person.
do you have like lines that you use or do you just try to like listen to what she's saying and then try to make something from that really the first thing you say doesn't really matter what matters is the energy you put into it and like you'll notice that whenever you start approaching girls they don't even listen to what they, you're talking about they don't even listen your, your first sentence what they pay attention to is your body language how you smile how you make eye contact with her okay Show her you're together, you're a fun guy. That's the way you should picture it. Like, seriously, you should like start, uh, make people feel that any interaction with you is gonna be fun from the beginning. Do I lift what? Look at that. Uh, what, you lifting a one pound stick? Yeah. Is that supposed to impress me? Yeah. No, sir, you're in my space right now. And you're I'm in my to space. See. Wow, do I know you? I have Facebook. <laughs> you wanna add me? Uh, really, no, I don't. Oh, look at that. You wanna see me break that? Uh, if you want a knee in the crotch, you oh. can stay around. If not, you'd, you'd probably wanna leave right now. I don't leave. Yeah, you should because it's not really working out. I don't know you and you're weird, so yeah. Where are you going? You didn't take my number. Oh, what did you think of the approach of the guy while you were doing your yoga? Can I be honest? I thought he was a little bit of a maniac. Um, you know, he's talking really fast and foaming at the mouth and kind of scared me a little bit, but um, probably not something I would engage in. I would probably run or you know, try to fight him, but um, not something I'm used to. That was a first for me. I, I was panicked a little bit, but I had to keep a straight face and, you know, uh, I guess just keep my space, but respond in a safe way, you know, but then when it got to be too much, I just kind of took off. What do you think went wrong with your approach? She, she really rejected me. I don't know why. I took the advice. Uh, I used the advice. I had fun. She rejected me. She didn't want to take my number. I don't know why. I think I went so hard on her, probably. That she got scared of that lift, so she, she probably thought I'm too strong for her, so I don't know. So at what point do you ask for a number? You were talking about how like sometimes the conversation is slowing down. You gotta ask for the number and like before you crash get the out before <laughs> like the conversation slows down okay. but before you ask for a number like make sure you've created like good connection you know girl like give the number like so easily away you know they like to get texted you know so maybe you text her but she won't answer you know so like getting a number today doesn't really mean like yeah. something you know so what you want to do is really like create connection with her and like after you ask for the number okay Hey, sure. Thank you so much. My name is Rich, by the way. Hi. What's your, what's your name? I'm Sophia. Sophia, and what's nice your name? Nice to meet you. Salvi. Salvi. Okay. And your name? Jeremy. Jeremy, nice to meet you. What's your name? Samantha. Nice Fedora. <laughs> and your name? I'm Gina. With a bling. <laughs> what's your name? Will. I'm Will. Nice, You're nice to meet you. Too. And this is our, our joke teller. I'm Rich. <laughs> She's the joke teller. So do you live around here? Like uh, a couple blocks out. Yeah. How about you? I just moved over here like, a couple months ago. From where? Like, from South America, from Peru. Peru. Yeah. Very nice. And español? Uh, of course. Primer idioma. Oh, muy bien. Muy bien. How about you? Sí, lo hablo. Mi uh, era mexicano. Oh. So okay. yeah, my parents are from Mexico. So yeah. So do you speak it a lot or? You know what I don't like speak it as much as I could. I uh -huh. don't have someone to speak it with. Oh, you um, don't? No, oh. no. So, Interesting. yeah, my parents are still in Mexico, so I, I talked to them on the phone. Um, but, yeah, I definitely need to work on my Spanish. Well, you know, if you need help, you know, I can help you definitely. Well, so, I'd yeah. love help, especially your help, because you're beautiful. Um, Absolutely. Thank you. Really Thank nice. you. Yeah. So, um, do you normally come around and do some walks over here? Absolutely. I like the, ex the exercise, and I like the tranquility out here, so it's really nice. Yeah. It's a beautiful area. Um, so, yeah. yeah, and I'm glad I, I walked tonight, because I yeah. ran into you guys, and especially you, Sophia. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So I normally walk in the evenings, on the weekends, 
Um, so you around and you can just say hola and then I can help you. Yeah, yeah, we should definitely uh, connect. You mind if I get your number and oh, yeah, no, get I don't your mind. information? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that'd be fun. You uh, seem like uh, we have a lot in common and yep. uh, that's wonderful. So you get to practice Spanish and then I get to practice English. <laughs> exactly. We can help each other out. Yep. Perfect. So let me know when you're ready. I can go ahead and put it on Yeah, absolutely. Time. If you don't mind. Thank you, Sophia. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Guys, uh, so nice to meet you as well. Nice to you. Carry on with your beautiful day. Thank you. I'll see you guys. Right? Right. I have to go. Right. Thank nice you. To meet you. Nice meeting you. We'll talk later. Okay. What did you think of Rich's approach to you? I think he was a little bit shy and nervous, but he was really, really cute. I loved his smile and the eye connection that he had. Um, very charming, you know, he had some kind of a sex appeal in the way how he was talking. And I was really interested to know that he needed help with Spanish. So I was like, perfect. <laughs> Hi guys, great day overall. Uh, you guys did awesome. Everybody had his own ups and stuff. So keep in mind, really, um, first step, warm up, okay, you get there, you build your confidence for the night, you connect with people, you, so, you show everybody your social. Uh, second step, you got to keep in mind, it's all about three things. Confidence, okay, how you're going to come across confident, how you do, do you telegraph confidence with your body. Empathy, okay, like try to connect with her mind, like what's going on in her mind at the moment. And last thing is energy, okay. Keep in mind the, the party image, like your party, and you want people to want to join your party. Okay, guys? Right. Okay, let's wrap it up. Thank you so much. That was awesome. Thank Are you guys yeah. ready to do it again? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. yeah. Let's go.